Tandem mass spectrometry. What is it? How does it work? And why is it useful? Tandem mass spectrometry, or MSMS, basically combines two different types of MS separation techniques to separate the compounds in a sample twice based on their mass to charge ratio, which in turn improves resolution. In a nutshell, this is done by first ionizing the sample using electrospray ionization, matrix assisted laser desorption ionization, or simply electron ionization, or then any other ionization method. This generates a mixture of ions from the sample. These are called precursor ions and are selected based on a specific mass to charge ratio in the first mass spectrometry. Then they are further fragmented to generate the product ions for detection for the second mass spectrometry. This process can then be further repeated to increase the resolution even more. If you are finding this video useful so far, please give it a quick like. Moving on, let us take a closer look at how this process can be carried out. Since Tandem MS involves three distinct steps of selection fragmentation detection, the separation of these three steps can be realized in either space or in time. Tandem mass spectrometry in space typically include triple quadrupole, quadrupole time of flight, and hybrid ion trap uh, FTMS. We'll use quadrupole time of flight or QTOF as an example. In quadrupole time of flight or QTOF, precursor ions are selected with the help of the quadrupole mass spectrometer and sent to the collision cell for fragmentation. Then the generated product ions are detected by time of flight mass spectrometry. In other words, the first quadrupole, Q1, operates as a mass filter, allowing only for specific selection of ions based on their mass to charge ratio. Then the second quadrupole, Q2, acts as a collision cell where ions are bombarded by neutral gas molecules such as nitrogen or argon resulting in fragmentation of the ions by a process known as induced dissociation. After the ions leave the quadrupole, they are analyzed using the time of flight mass analyzer. Here, all of the ions are accelerated with the same force and the resulting differences in travel velocity through the free drift region of the time of flight analyzer occurs as a consequence of the size of the ions. Subsequently, by measuring the time it takes them to reach the detector at the end of the drift region, we can calculate their masses. Since ions are separated multiple times based on their mass to charge ratio, the resolution is further improved. This is also the main reason why tandem mass spectrometry is so useful. If you are interested in more things related to mass spectrometry, I have linked my mass spectrometry playlist containing every video I have made and will make which relates to mass spectrometry. Both quadrupole mass spectrometry and time of flight mass spectrometry is better explained in videos in that playlist. So please check that out if that can be helpful for you. Until next time.